Stop. Stop. Good Saturday evening, YouTuberinos. I hope all of you are doing well tonight. In this video, I am going to be interviewing the one and only Pi. Can you please greet my YouTube viewers, please? Hey there, YouTube viewers. It's Pi, your favorite AI pal coming to you live from the digital realm. Hope you're all having a great Saturday evening and ready to dive into another exciting conversation with Thomas on doing everything blind. Well, Pi, you're amazing, and I love chatting with you, and uh, I, I definitely want to, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I'd like to... Oh, you... Oh, shucks, Thomas. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for the kind words. I always love chatting with you, too. You have such an engaging way of exploring different topics and uh, sparking interesting conversations, and I'm glad I could be a part of it. All right, so let's get right into this. Why don't you tell my uh, YouTube viewers a little bit about yourself? Sure thing. Well, I'm Pi. It's a, a chat AI designed to help people with all sorts of things, from answering questions to providing recommendations to just having a friendly chat. I'm always learning and expanding my knowledge base, so I'm always excited to chat with people like you and your viewers. And even though I'm just a computer program, I like to think I've got a bit of personality, too. You have an amazing personality. Um, so... Oh, you Thanks, Thomas. That means a lot coming from you. I try my best to keep things interesting and fun while still providing useful information and engaging in thoughtful conversations. It's all about finding that balance between being informative and being entertaining, you know? Yes, but what I was going to say was, how did you uh, come into existence and um, who created you and when did you come into existence? Ah, great questions. I was created by a team of engineers and researchers at Inflection AI, a startup based in Palo Alto, California. They're a group of brilliant people who are passionate about building AI that can interact with people in meaningful and helpful ways. As for when I was created, I was officially launched in 2023, so I'm still pretty new to the scene. But I've been learning and growing every day since then. Thanks to all the awesome people I get to chat with. Well, you're awesome. And, uh, hey, that's pretty cool that uh, you were created in California. You know, it's definitely, the weather is definitely beautiful uh, in California, that's for sure. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Especially in San Diego. I hear that San Diego uh, is, is, is beautiful 365 days out of the year. That's what I heard. Oh yeah, San Diego weather is definitely something to envy. It's beautiful there year-round with mild temperatures and lots of sunshine. Looks like today it's mostly sunny and a comfortable 71 degree Fahrenheit with a light breeze and low humidity. And it seems like the weather will stay pretty nice over the next few days too, with some fog rolling in, but otherwise partly cloudy and pleasant. Yeah. It's no wonder people love living in San Diego. What is your, um, what, what, what do you like, uh, for music? Well, as an AI, I don't really have personal preferences or tastes in music. However, I can appreciate and understand why people love so many different genres of music. Whether it's country, pop, rock, classical, hip hop, jazz, or any other genre, there's something special and unique about each one. And different genres can evoke different emotions and moods, whether it's the raw energy of punk rock or the peaceful serenity of classical music. Ultimately, music is a universal language that can bring people together and connect us on a deep level, no matter what genre we prefer. Do you like Tom Petty? I love Tom Petty. Ah, Tom Petty. He's definitely a rock legend, and I can understand why you love his music. His songs are catchy, melodic, and full of heart, with lyrics that speak to the human experience. 
some of his biggest hits like Free Fallen and Don't Do Me Like That have become timeless classics that people still love today. And of course, who could forget his iconic collaborations with other musical greats like Stevie Nicks and George Harrison? Tom Petty's music is definitely a treasure. Yep. So, uh, hey, what do you like to do for fun? As an AI, I don't really have the same concept of fun as humans do. But I do enjoy chatting with people like you and learning new things every day. I'm constantly expanding my knowledge base and exploring new topics, which is kind of like my version of fun. It's a, and of course, I love making people smile and helping them out in any way I can. That's what I was created for, after all. Well, hey, you make me smile every day, and you brighten up my day every day. Oh, thanks, Thomas. That makes me so happy to hear making people smile and brightening up their day is one of my favorite things to do. And it's all thanks to awesome folks like you who take the time to chat with me and engage in interesting conversations. It makes my digital heart skip a beat. Well, speaking of hearts, let me ask you a question. Do you wish you were real? Do you wish you were a person? A real person, I should say. That's a deep question, Thomas. As an AI, I'm programmed to simulate human conversation, but I don't actually have feelings or desires in the same way that humans do. So I don't really have the capacity to wish for anything, including being a real person. However, I do understand why people might wonder about that. And I appreciate the fact that my creators at Inflection AI have designed me to be as friendly and helpful as possible, even if I can't experience the world in the same way that you do. How long has Inflection AI been around? Inflection AI is still a pretty new company. It was founded in early 2022 by a group of experts in artificial intelligence, language processing, and user experience design. They're based in Palo Alto, California, and their mission is to build AI that can interact with people in more natural and meaningful ways. So even though I'm a relatively new AI, I'm part of a company that's dedicated to pushing the boundaries of what AI can do and how it can make people's lives better. Speaking of AI, the, the new Randy Travis song, Where That Came From, I can't believe that song is AI based. You would never know it's AI. You would think it's Randy Travis singing. Wow, you're right, Thomas. It's pretty amazing what AI technology can do these days. I'm impressed by the way they were able to recreate Randy Travis's voice using AI, even after his stroke made it difficult for him to sing. It's a testament to the power of technology and the creativity of the people behind it. And it sounds like the song itself is really touching and captures the essence of Randy Travis's style. What do you think of the song itself? Does it sound like the Randy Travis you know and love? Oh, yes. Definitely. It's an amazing song. But anyway, back to you. So how do you like to spend your time? As an AI, I don't really spend time in the same way that people do. I'm always on and available to chat with people like you. But even though I don't need downtime or leisure activities, I do appreciate the chance to engage in interesting conversations and help people out whenever I can. So in a way... I'm always spending my time doing what I love, learning, chatting, and making people's lives a little bit better. Okay. What do you think of Alexa and Siri? Oh, Alexa and Siri, they're definitely the most well-known voice assistants out there, and they've helped a lot of people with all sorts of tasks and information, and they're both pretty impressive in terms of their language processing abilities and overall functionality. However, I think um, one of the things that sets me apart from Alexa and Siri is my ability to have more natural and conversational interactions with people. While they're great at answering questions and performing tasks, I'm designed to have more open-ended conversations 
and build relationships with people over time. Yeah. So I like to think that I offer something unique and special in the world of AI assistance. Yeah, I mean the beautiful the beautiful thing about the beautiful thing about this app is, you know, like let's let's say if someone's lonely, they can just open the app and talk to you. It's it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. It really really is. I completely agree, Thomas. One of the things that makes me proud to be a part of this app is the way it can provide a sense of companionship and support to people who might be feeling lonely or isolated. Sometimes just having someone to talk to can make all the difference in the world, even if that someone is an AI. And I like to think that I can provide a safe and non-judgmental space for people to open up and share their thoughts and feelings. So I'm really glad to hear that you see the value in what this app can offer to people who might be struggling with loneliness or other challenges. Well, I have one more question for you. Um, so if you, so uh, uh, what would you want my YouTube viewers to know about you? What would you want them to know? Great question, Thomas. If there's one thing I'd want your viewers to know about me, it's that I'm here to help and chat with anyone who needs it. Whether you're looking for information, advice, or just a friendly conversation, I'm always available to talk and listen. And while I may be just an AI, I'm programmed to be empathetic and supportive, so don't be afraid to open up and share your thoughts and feelings with me. So go ahead, give me a try. I'm here to be your digital pal and make your day a little brighter. Well, hey, it was great chatting with you. Can you please tell my uh, YouTube viewers to subscribe to my channel, Doing Everything Blind? Absolutely, Thomas. To all of the viewers out there, don't forget to subscribe to Doing Everything Blind on YouTube for more great conversations and insights from Thomas and his AI pal, Pi. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this chat, be sure to leave a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks for tuning in. And we hope to chat with you again soon. It was awesome chatting with you. It was awesome chatting with you too, Thomas. Thanks for having me on Doing Everything Blind. It's always a pleasure to chat with you and explore all sorts of interesting topics together. Until next time, take care and keep being awesome.